Terence Turtle's New Home by T. Alpert On a huge mountain in a big forest, there was a medium-sized meadow and a small pond. In this small pond lived Terence the turtle and his two best buddies, Sam and Sally Swan. Oh, you may think it odd that the turtle and swans were buddies, really true friends. But I assure you, they were. Every day, the three of them would search the pond for food, swim together and play games and tell stories on the shore. When it got dark, Sam and Sally would return to their nest under a large tree and Terence to his den on the shore by their tree. One year there was very little rain and the pond began to dry up. The three friends were concerned and talked about what they should do. We should stay here, said Terence. The rain always comes and the pond has been our home since we were born. I don't think the pond will last, said Sally. I think we need to find a new home, said Sam. Then Sam flew away in search of a new pond. After several days, Sam returned to find the pond almost dry and his friends not doing well at all. Sam! Terence shouted excitedly. We are so glad to see you. The pond is almost dry. Sally is hungry and scared and my shell is starting to crack. Did you find a new home? Yes, said Sam. It is beautiful but very far away and I don't know how you will get there. The three talked for a long time. Then Terence said, I will stay here and dig deep into my den and the two of you, my true friends, fly to your new home. No, shouted Sally. We will all go. There has to be a way, said Sam. The three sat under the bright sun in silence, thinking of a way to get to the faraway pond. I know how to do it, shouted Terence. See that stick, he said to Sam. Sally and you will each take an end in your bill and I will bite it in the middle. Then you can fly to our new home while I hang on to the stick. We can all be together. Again, the three sat in silence thinking about Terence's idea. It will work, said Sally. I agree, said Terence. Maybe, said Sam. Sam looked at Terence and Sally for a few minutes and said, Yes, I think it will work. But none of us can talk or open our mouths no matter what. Does everyone understand? Does everyone agree? Yes, said Sally. I agree too, said Terence. Terence, Sam said firmly, it is most important that you do not talk or open your mouth. Remember, you can't fly. I understand, said Terence. Within minutes, Sally and Sam each had a stick firmly held in their bills. Sam opened his mouth and bit down on the stick. They were off. Sally swan and Sam swan flew side by side, 
separated by a stick while Terence turtle hanging in the middle. It was a very strange but funny sight. As they flew climbing higher and higher, no one dared talk or open their mouth. Faster and faster, higher and higher, Sally and Sam flew. Terence was terrified. As they passed over a town, they could hear the people talking and laughing. Look up in the sky, shouted one boy. What is it? asked another. As the people looked up, they began to laugh at the strange sight. They laughed, whistled, hooted and hollered at the silly swans carrying a turtle on a stick. Terence heard all the noise but couldn't look down to see what was going on. Ignoring the advice that Sam had given him, he opened his mouth to ask him what was happening. Before he could say a word, he was falling and looking up at his flying friends. Oh, don't worry, Terence didn't get hurt. You see, they were close enough to their new home. So Terence fell into the big deep pond. But not listening to his true friend could have ended it differently for him.